Installation of field level and data security is uh, pretty simple. It includes uh, importing the objects, creating a new company, doing initial source code analysis, and if you install it together with the login and permissions, you typically want to run that installation first, and then the source code analysis is actually going to be reused. Then we're going to add the source table, and then we're going to run the implement changes in code function. And after that, we will go set up other companies to copy part of the data to uh, those ones so we can easily make that work in a multi-company setup. I've downloaded the latest Easy Security version here, and I go in to extract uh, the files in here. I just was going to extract them here. This folder contains everything necessary for Easy Security, contains some extra permission sets, online help, and many other things in here. And then the objects for each version in here. I'm going to install 2015, so I have the 2015 object for the application, and that's a major part. And then there's a couple of objects that's going to be replaced during the installation process. Only the first time are these ones going to be imported, and future ones don't ever import those ones because it will overlay the objects. We also have some additional menu suites if the one we normally use is already in use in here. I go on to do a field level and data security uh, install only. So the first thing I want to do here is to import the objects. And I have my 2015 folder. And I want to import both the files in here. The first file potentially can have a conflict with a menu suite, so always check this. And then you can skip it and import a single menu suite uh, from one of the other nines available in here. But it just finished importing the 248 new objects. I'm also going to import my empty objects in here. And that's four code units that is going to contain settings, filtering, and things like that one for the field level and data security application. It's always a good idea to compile the objects, and all the objects in our application is um, with a version list that starts with ES. Sometimes the menu suites is not showing up properly unless all the menu suites are compiled without a filter. So I'm going to do a compile on all the menu suites also. Since we're running in a setup here where I'm only installing field level security, I will need to do a source code analysis, but we really only need to do that for table uh, or pages in here. We don't need to um, do the other object type for the field level security. So I'm going to select those ones and then export them into a text file in here. A normal customer license um, don't have access to export in text, so it's typically one of those things the partner assists with. I'm going to switch to a partner license here. and then filter on my um, tables and pages again in here. So I can now export them to text format in here. This one again is a one-time process, the same with the installation. It's not something that's going to happen all the time, so that the partner have to help with exporting this one is not that big an issue. It's now exporting um, the objects I'm going to go to NAV, and we want to keep all our extra data in a separate company. In that way, we can always uh, restart um, and go in and set up a new company if necessary. Plus, we can also protect the data so only the users that need access can even see the company is in the database. And I'm just going to call it Easy Security, but it can be called anything you want in here. So 
I'll switch to my new company. Then go to department and if you have a license, uh, the easy security menu should show up down here. Um, or it could be that you had to compile the menu suites. So initially I want to open up the field level and data security setup. This company is going to be the primary one where we are allowed to run the install and keep all the data. So I put a check mark in. If I had already installed the logins and permissions, I could just get relations from source code. Now I need to select my text file I exported. In my setup, I have it on a local disk in here, but that's because the service here is also running here. Typically, you want to put that file in a um, network share so the service here can see the file and also the service here needs permission to actually read that file in here. But I'm going to get relations from source code and it will now scan that one. The main thing is actually catching now is what pages are using what pages in the system actually in here. That's important because we're only going to select which tables we want these features on and we will write the code necessary in those pages. In. So it finished, it uh, found the relations in here. I now want to go select the tables and as you do this you typically want to start out um, with a few tables and see if you need the features and how it works and then you can easily add something in the future in here. I'm just going to select my finance and a few things on my customer site, my item, sales header and sales line in here. And every time, because of my initial source code analysis, I know what pages are actually using uh, which tables in here. So all these pages will need to have the additional code added so it support the field level and data security features. We could, of course, use the same text file with all the objects in it. And it only take uh, a few minutes to actually run the implement changes in code. We can actually mark the objects only the one we need for it in here. So I will do all the one needed for implementing the changes. And it marked 102 objects with DBM table number one. The DBM table number is um, an old field that was used in the native database. Um, it's not used any longer but it's in the list, so we can actually use that one for selecting the right objects in here. We have selected the tables and all the pages showing that table. We really don't do any changes to the pages. We just need to read some settings. So I now want to export these ones, and I'll just call it install one. And I'm exporting them in text, um, but I also want to export them as FOP in here. The reason we exporting them f as a um, FOP file also is we can actually then roll back changes if necessary in here. Sometimes objects are kind of messed up so you could actually just go in here and as you do your initial install try compile all the objects because typically when a problem occur it's something that already existed even before we actually exported the code to text at that time. So, but it's now compiling the pages and since this one is a clean 2015, there shouldn't really be any issues in here. No, it all worked fine. I now want to go to my field level and data security setup, select my install file and it's only 10% of the all objects so it actually is a lot faster to run through. It creates a new file uh, with dash out and then I will use the implement changes in code up here. This one reads through, um, it will 
add code to the pages if it needs it. If the code changes are already in there, it won't add them a second time in here. This one is a clean install, so I should have almost every page have fields at, or have the code added in here. I can see one of them actually didn't have any fields on it, I guess, so um, I don't need to add code in that one. We also have our three code units and um, the tables were not modified. I now no need to go import from my text file. The out file has now the new code added, so you can actually now um, look at or having these new features in NAV. Since I imported that the DBM table number only sticks for or only exists as a temporary field in here, um, but I can see when I filter on the uncompiled, I have my three code units, and uh, I also have all the pages that were changed in here. All of them have the same date and time, so that's actually a good way of moving them from a test database into a production database without. Um, rerunning the wizard. You can always rerun the wizard if you don't import the objects. You don't, or it comes up with zero pages. There shouldn't really be any need for importing it. So, um, but all the objects compiled in this case. So I can now go here and if I look at sales and marketing in my easy security company, I can see that I um, have no customers in here, but I can just uh, create a customer. I can see everything looks normal in here. If I just want to check that what we did with the install, I want to leave the user ID blank. The read only code was created automatically. As I now go to the list of customers, it all grays out up here. If I look at a single customer, everything is grayed out. I can't change anything. So basically, the code is implemented correctly. Right now, we did all this one in the Easy Security Company. I want to have my real company being able to use these features also in here. So as I go in and open up my Easy Security setup, I, of course, don't have any of the data because it's kept in a different company. But we have a function to copy data between company in here. So you can keep a portion of the setup, the initial one, inside the easy security, and you can actually reuse it from all other companies in the database. To set up this company to copy, I'll go click on field level security. As you saw, it has this little pop out about updating lookup. And that's actually one of the code units that have um, all the actions and things like that one in it. I want to copy from my setup company and only the easy security company shows up. And I then want to copy. I can copy field level security codes, data security codes, user security setup, and all those things can actually be um, copied from that company in here. As I did the setup, I can now go in and right now I don't have any field level security code, but as I run the copy data between companies, it will pull all that data over and I now have field level security codes based from the setup company in here. I ran this one from kind of a child company. If I actually ran this one from the easy security company and I had multiple companies that were set up to copy data, 
I would actually push all this data out to all the other companies in here. Now I only have one company, so it don't really make a difference, but it will actually uh, push it to all the data at the same time in here. That finished the uh, install of field level and data security. Everything is now set up and uh, working in this database. All you have to do now is just configure the users.